those of you guys who wanted to see the DTF printing process or the settings that I used to print DTF. So I'm using the Epson. So if you can see the Epson 1500, okay? 1500 WU. And this is it. So let me show you the settings real quick, okay? So this is what I am printing, okay? And first of all, uh, you have to design your work in a way that it doesn't have any background. So you see that this work doesn't have any background, okay? It is a transparent. So once it's done that way, then the next thing is to uh, copy this, okay? So I'm going to copy one of these. So let's say this one, and I'm going to copy this. Then I have this software that I used to print. This is called DTG, okay? It comes with, um, uh, how do they call it? I've forgotten the name. It comes with something like a pen drive. Then we set it at the back. So mine is at the back of the computer. I can't show it to you right now, but that's it. If you have this, this tank, you can print using the Epson, okay? If you want to know like those, those uh, details too, I think I have a video on it on YouTube. Uh, I will leave a link in the comment section so you can click and you go to YouTube and watch it. Okay. So with this, I will open the direct to fame printing software. So when it opens, this is how it looks like. So first of all, the thing that I'm going to do is to click on open, or click on file, and then I'll click on open. So it's going to open area where I can paste in my work so let's see this is it i'll right click and then i'll paste in my work i already have it here so what i'm going to do next is that select that file then i'm going to click on open so it's going to open here for me then this is the uh, preview of the sheet that we are going to use to print okay so you see that one just finished okay so i have to carry it then i have my dtf powder over here if you have the complete machine you won't be doing all these manual works that i am doing okay so you see that sometimes it is difficult to you know uh, for the printer to select the paper or because we are trying to use it by force to you know print this so if you have the budget and you can go for the big one you can do so sometimes i do some little tricky things over here just make sure that here is free, okay? Then uh, you click on the red icon that is blinking and it's going to try. So when you do it too many times and it doesn't come, I use this thing. So this is a DTF ink. This is not a container. I think I lost the head of the container. That's why I replace it in this, okay? So I'm just going to fix this one real quick and then we will continue over here all right so once this is good to go you can see that it has started printing again okay so one once uh, we are through with that so this is it and i'm going to print this one as a4 so this is the dtf film that i'm using okay so this is the film if you need some of these some of the ink or some of this one to let me know and i will see what i can do so I, I will click on this one to repeat the work, okay? So that I get something like this. And this is also a setting that I have done. So, and make sure, but make sure you open A4 side uh, in Photoshop or the software that you are using so that you are going to get the correct side. Then I'm going to reduce it a bit, okay? Sorry, so I have to reduce it a bit. You know that in actual printing, we don't really make uh, make it fit okay so we need some little edges over here then i'm going to click on this to fit uh, flip the work so that when it print is going to give me it's going to print outside down okay so this is how when it's print is going to come out but when it is printing you see that this is pain okay it is flipped around okay so once you are okay with it then you can use your arrow keys to move this one in and out to make sure you are okay then the next thing is to uh, select your printer over here mine is selected and also make sure you have your printer selected here so epson 1390 
So all of them fall under this category. Then you select your actual printer. Then also you input the same direction over here or settings over here. Then you come to the color settings. So I have a settings over here that I have made and I have saved it. So all the settings is about uh, making this one the ink channel. Make it TMYK. So when you come to setup, you make the first one yellow, black, white, white, magenta, cyan. The rest is going to be off. Then you save the work, you save the settings and you click on OK. So let me click on cancel because mine is OK. Then I change the ink limit. So this is the ink limit for the overall. So I'm going, I am making the ink limit 80%. So that is, it is affecting all the ink. And also the white is 100%. So I will get the full uh, white ink at the back. And also, when you come down here, make sure you have the ICC profile on, okay? So that uh, help it to print. So make sure you have the ICC profile on, okay? So this one, we will select the first one and that. So let me cancel that one too. And also, when you come here to you can make, make sure your settings are like this, okay? So when you are done, you come back to the print section. Sorry. So let me go to the print section. Then I'm going to click on this. And here we will conclude the settings here. So here you will set, here you are going to see the printer type over here, the printer port you are using. So if you selected the wrong one, uh, you will go back and then you do the right thing. Then the ink limit 80, 80, 80 quite hundred percent so you see everything over here then resolution this is it then the number of copies you are making so let's say we are printing two you just type in the two over there okay or you can use the arrow key so two then make sure you uh, you, you set this one you you check this one that's print color first then white plus the color and then you click on the print, uh, it will say wait a moment, so it, it's sending the work into the printer to do its work. So basically that is how you can go about printing with DTF. I hope this video helps you a lot. If you have any question or if you want any consultation, you can DM me, paste a little something and then I'm going to take you through printing process thank you very much until next time keep creating and never give up